Okay, so I'll start um, by introducing myself. I'm Philippa Jeffries, Acquisitions Editor at River Publishers, and I am excited to begin the first of the River Publishers research discussions by looking at fluid power research and sustainability with Professor Andrea Vaca, Editor-in-Chief of the International Journal of Fluid Power. Andrea, welcome. Would you like to start by just introducing yourself a little and your background in fluid power research? Sure, thank you for this opportunity. So, Again, my name is uh, Andrea Vacca. I'm the lead faculty of the Maha Fluid Power Research Center uh, at Purdue University. So the Maha Research Center is the largest academic uh, lab uh, dedicated to fluid power research in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, we have about 15,000 square feet of uh, test stations and about uh, 30 graduate researchers do research there, two faculty, uh, two staff members, and uh, we do a lot of things related to fluid power. Okay, great. So um, today we're talking a little bit about the role of fluid power research for our growing demand for a more sustainable future. What would you say are kind of the main challenges in fluid power research at the moment in terms of meeting uh, the demand for sustainability and efficiency? Yeah, so uh, it's a good question. So fluid power is a very established technology. It handles with uh, the use of pressurized fluid for doing mechanical actuations. And, and that's very, uh, the progress in, on, in fluid power technology that back many years, and uh, it competes constantly with electric uh, drives or mechanical drives. And now the challenge is how to make this technology competing with the current modern challenges, uh, how to make it more sustainable. So uh, the main advantage of, of fluid power is power density, meaning that it can be very compact. You can have a lot of energy per unit weight, but the problem uh, nowadays is uh, a lot improving efficiency because the efficiency of fluid power machines is uh, quite uh, low. Uh, there is a study that says that the average efficiency of the fluid power machinery is about 21%. So we okay. certainly have to improve that to make it more sustainable. Besides energy efficiency, there are uh, other challenges to make uh, fluid power systems ubiquitous, which are uh, removing leakages, mm -hmm. trying to find ways to couple uh, the fluid power actuation with electric uh, Time movers, how to make the machines uh, hybrid so that uh, we can have an, uh, fluid power machines coexisting with an electric machine. Okay, um, and what are some kind of key recent developments that are trying to overcome these issues? So, recent developments um, in uh, fluid power, there are at a different level. So, there is now a big trend of digital hydraulics. So, uh, rethinking the hydraulic system more uh, in a similar way as an electric system. And that can help a lot to provide uh, a power on demand uh, and uh, uh, get to more controllable and uh, efficient systems. Another trend uh, that is uh, happening is uh, decentralizing uh, the uh, hydraulic systems. So traditional machines, they have one uh, supply, one pump serving many different functions, but the trend is to decentralize, to have uh, localized supplies for every different functions. And that is, uh, seems to solve many uh, problems. Your research interests in particular, um, do any of them lie within those fields? Uh, yeah, my research interests uh, are mainly in uh, efficiency, in uh, uh, new pump technology. So we uh, do a lot of research on uh, uh, understanding uh, the source of power loss inside uh, a pump. So my team is uh, one of the best in the world for pump simulation. And uh, with that also we have a uh, several ideas about new uh, pump design that can um, tackle the uh, challenge of having a more efficient component or a more silent component. Yeah. So you say that sustainability and efficiency is very important for you and your research group. 
Yes, uh, yeah, I would say that efficiency is really a key word for our lab. Um, and so with efficiency, um, of course, if we make, uh, if we bring the efficiency of the power machines from the 20% that I mentioned earlier to uh, 60 or maybe 70 or 80% where we should be, uh, then of course we will have machines that will consume less fuel uh, or less energy and that, and that is necessary for the future, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I'm afraid we might have to end this soon, but um, do you have any final comments, particularly on kind of the future of fluid power and research in this area? Well, the final comment, uh, comment is certainly uh, on the journal. Uh, the International Journal of Fluid Power is the first uh, journal uh, that was established to cover uh, this technology, which is multidisciplinary. It uh, takes uh, a little of control, a little of fluid mechanics, uh, a little of robotics, uh, uh, and uh, uh, but at the end, it, it solves uh, unique problems of uh, fluid power actuations. And this journal is uh, a leading journal uh, in the mm -hmm. field. And uh, uh, there, I think the reader can find the best uh, uh, work uh, in fluid power research, uh, uh, reflecting the cutting edge technology, what universities are trying to do, uh, and also in many cases, also what companies are currently pursuing. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Let's end it there. Thank you very much, Andrew, for joining me today. Um, I look forward to seeing where this field goes. It was a really <laughs> pleasure.